it's just a quick tutorial video about how you would make a six lamp bar multi circuit symbol in Vectorworks. In this case, it's just a six um, six lamp um, arrow bar. Um, so I've got an arrow symbol here, par sixty four arrow, um, and there it is sitting down on the floor there. And what you need to do is you need to make a second symbol. You need to make a second symbol that contains the pipe that the other five are going to sit on. So if I was to, I've made this already, uh, but if you were to go to this symbol and just look here, there is the um, par 64, but added to it is a an extruded on path object which counts as the pipe that they're going to hang on so we have two objects i put a little dotted line in the 2d portion just to show you where the pipe is might be quite useful so if we just select um, that symbol and all of the other symbols and let's just um, line them up um, there we go. And for this to actually work as a multi-circuit symbol, uh, Vectorworks have actually been quite prescriptive and they need you to add two uh, 3D loci um, to the symbol. So first of all, let's add them in and you need to put one on each end. It first of all tells Vectorworks um, where to hang all of this stuff and also tells it um, how to line itself up. Um, so it's important that you get these right and one goes on each end. Now both of them um, need to have a, um, a Z height of zero. Um, and um, all of your instruments as well need to have um, a Z height of zero. So everything needs to be um, zero. All right, um, if you go back to top plan and you were to select all of those objects and you were to go um, modify create symbol, just call it six bar for the sake of argument and press OK. Press OK again. Um, now you can delete that. If you were to now double click this, you will just get the symbol that you made, all right? Which is not what we want. If you were to attach a record to it though, um, and in this case, it needs to be the light info record and only that will work, um, press okay. You don't need to fill the record in, that's fine. It can stay blank. Um, now, if you were to double click that, um, click again, you will see that in fact what you've got is six lighting device objects here. Okay, and what I'd like to do um, is I'd like to give them um, some height, let's give them 6,000. And what we need to do very quickly is we just needed to add um, some the focus points um, to these. So if I was to um, select these objects, um, double click there. And if we just focus um, each one in turn, okay, and press okay. Then now if we go into um, a top view, we will see that if I was to select um, an object and draw the beam, the beam will hit the focus point. Um, now, um, what you probably notice is that the beam, that the, the, the body of the instrument doesn't pan um, 
And once an, an instrument has been converted into a multi-circuit instrument, it won't pan. Um, but it will tilt. So if I was to move that uh, focus point there and that focus point there, um, you will see that it does tilt. Um, now, um, obviously, one of the, the good things about these is that they all move together. Um, so, um, and even in top plan, you can see this. They, they, they do all move together, and so you can start um, inserting six bars all over your rig, and they will all move um, and work together. Um, the numbering in Vectorworks works well with multi-circuit instruments. Um, so it's quite a good concept to get into um, if you have the time to spend to um, create these. Um, I hope that helps you. Um, thank you.